Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing the scary version of the Jester from Garden of Banban. Ban. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off with a V-shape here. This is going to be where the body starts to split open. Then for the left side, let's draw a wavy line up like this, on an angle. And then another wavy line on the right. Next, let's draw the shape of the head. Let's start with the left side. From the top, let's draw a bumpy line on an angle all the way down. Then let's start to curve it down. and then curve it back in towards the center, like this. And it should end just at the top of the V-shape. Now let's hop over and draw the right side. From the top, let's draw a curve down and let's flick it up at the end. Then let's bring it in. And then one more larger curve underneath. Okay, now that we have the shape of both sides of the head, let's move in and draw the eyes. Let's start inside the left and let's draw a circle. And then another circle inside on the left. And now around the eye, let's draw bumpy lines all the way, like this. Now let's hop over on the other side of the head to draw the other eye. Let's start again with a small circle. and then another circle inside. Next, around this eye, let's draw an S-shaped curve on top, and then a curve underneath to close it off. And lastly, for both eyes, let's color the pupils in black. And that's it for the eyes. Next, let's move underneath and draw the mouth. Inside on the left, let's draw a curve down. And then bring it back up. And then for the right side, let's do the same thing, but we're going to curve it upwards. And now let's color the inside of both mouths in black. And that's it for both sides of the head. Now let's move in and draw the teeth. Let's start inside in the middle, and let's start on the left side, and let's draw a small V-shaped curve. Then let's draw the same thing going up, getting slightly larger as we go. And now let's do the same thing from the right side. And next, in the center, behind the teeth, let's draw the tongue. Let's start by drawing a wavy line up on the left side. And try to keep it behind the teeth. Then we're going to do the same thing going down on the right.
and that's it for the head. Next, let's move down and draw the body. Let's start in the center and let's draw a wavy line down. And then let's hop over on the left and let's draw a bumpy line down with pointed V shapes like this. And then for the right side, let's draw a straight line. And then connect them at the bottom with a curve. Now let's hop over on the outside and draw the arms. Let's start with the left side. Let's start underneath the left side of the head and let's draw a bumpy line down like this. And now from this point onwards, let's draw a wavy line instead. And now let's hop underneath and for the other side of the arm, let's draw a wavy line down. Now at the end, let's draw the hand. Let's start with a bump and then a curve out to the right and back up. Now let's hop over and draw the right arm. We'll start with two curves down. And now let's add the hand. From the inside line, let's draw a curve up and back down. And then from the outside, a small curve down and up. And now let's add three wavy fingers in between like this. And that's it for the arms. Next, let's move back inside and draw the legs. Let's start underneath the body on the left and let's draw a wavy line down. Then let's add a bent line. And then another three bumps going down like this. And now let's hop inside and let's do another wavy line all the way down. Next, let's hop over and draw the right leg. Let's start with a long straight line down. And then from the middle line, let's curve it down for the other side. And now let's close off the bottom of each leg with the line across. And lastly, for the legs, let's hop back up near the top here and let's draw a wavy line down in the center. And that's it for the legs. Next, let's move down and draw the feet. Let's start underneath on the left and let's draw an S-shaped curve down and then curve it in. Now for the heel, let's draw a line down and then curve it over. Then let's continue it over and curve it down to close off the foot. Now let's hop over on the right side. For this foot, let's draw a curve out and up. And let's do the same thing underneath to close it off. And that's it for Scary Jester. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.